Don't turn to anybody but Wolfgang Puck when it comes to doing that. Renowned chef, fabulous restaurateur. Hey, Look good at evening, he's good evening, over. everybody out there. I'm coming How over here you? because we have the best little helper for your holiday cooking, but for every day, you will see what we can do with our little hand mixer It's here. a little dynamo, and you ready? We're gonna get yeah. started, we're gonna do it. Here we go, A uh, one of the last looks at our yeah. very best value today. And it comes course, in a beautiful pop. gift box, so you don't, if you want a present, you need somebody for somebody who cooks at home, you get the perfect piece here wrapped up already. And look at all your great colors. All right, we're gonna jump into this right now. It is our very best value but don't of forget the, the orange is almost sold out. So the orange is almost sold out. We have yep. black, we have red, we have green, we have blue. Is the pink still available? The pink is gone. <gasps> oh, Marion's pink is sold out and we yep. still have the white. So here's the story. This is a brilliant three-in-one system. You know, how often do you want to do something and say, oh, I just don't have the right tools to do it? Wolfgang, what I love is this yep. clears up a lot of space exactly. under your counter. Exactly. And it fits perfectly in your drawer. I designed it so that way it is not this bulky thing. It fits into any drawer so you can put it away when you don't need it. Stand it up like that. Even if you want to keep it somewhere, you can put the uh, door hook or whatever right in here, see? There you go. All right, so everything starts together. So There's one jobs. more here. It's gonna whisk, it's gonna mix, yeah. and it's gonna froth. Froth, right, yep. Yeah, which is great. Everything really, look at that. Everything's there in one day, yep. one item, and it's just brilliant how it works. So we're gonna jump into it and show you. Okay. Because I think sometimes, Wolfgang, when people see, for me, it was looking at $29.95 going, I know. Eh, is it really gonna do those heavy exactly. jobs? Exactly, you know, you no, will need the them. Yeah. the book to go along with it, really go cool recipes inside here. Love the book, and this yeah. is limited, by the way. So Wolfgang, that would be an issue. People say, well, $29, come on. I know, people think it's not strong enough, but you will see what we can do with it. Why are you leaving? <laughs> <laughs> Standing on the side there, okay, don't touch me. I won't touch you, don't worry. I, I don't bite, I don't bite, don't worry. This is a mixer. <laughs> I get scared. It's a mixer. All right, now, look at that. I come from Austria, so for us, whipped cream is almost with every breakfast or with dinner in the afternoon with cake. So we never would buy any whipped cream out of a can. We make it fresh and we don't put sugar in it. So you can whip it up so easy. Look at that. You don't want to over whip it because if you want, like we did in Austria too, we made butter out of that. So if you whip it long enough, you have butter. There you go. Yeah. All right. In the easy way. So like one of my favorite things was a really hot, rich chocolate. Look at that, a hot mm -hmm. chocolate. Look at this one is exactly like my mother used to make for us in the winter for breakfast or when we came home from school when it was cold outside. Now, I could have drinking that in the summer, in the winter, anytime because it was so delicious. Now, if you want to, you get a little chocolate sauce or a little caramel, put that on here. Or, like in Vienna, it's a must. Cafe Michelin, coffee with whipped cream in the afternoon. So they put whipped cream on, co on, on coffee. coffee. Yeah, yeah, totally. That's a really, really a thing in Austria. You see it all the time. We <laughs> serve the coffee and the glass of water, and then you get some uh, uh, cake with it. Oh, that's our kidding. afternoon. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. The English serve afternoon tea with scones and everything. We serve coffee with whipped cream and a chocolate cake. Well, that's awesome. Okay, so that was pretty easy. Though. Yeah. Come on, that was whipped. So which whipped is fine. cream is really easy, yeah, but you know what? Though. If you don't have a machine, you have to whip it like By that. Hand. Your hands yeah. start to hurt right away. You have to be an athlete to. Do that. That's true, that's very true. Now, here it's another thing. If you wanna make cakes, for example, that's a little bit more difficult already. So you can get a whole cake mixture. Look what I use, cake mixture. Now here it says, add water and oil to it. No, we're gonna use the cake mixture and I'm gonna make an apple upside down cake. So we're gonna, instead of water, I'm gonna use a little apple juice so right away you get a little more flavor, about one third of a cup. Instead of oil, I use butter. Make it nice and rich. And if you want, a little apple brandy here. 
Oh, sure. All right. <laughs> or if want. you don't have upper brandy, a little vanilla, <laughs> see? Vanilla extract here. Okay. And then three eggs. So I get that all right in here. And then with my little mixer, I'm gonna make the most perfect batter here. Look at that. How is it, Marianne? What are you making? You want the shake? Huh? Uh, you want the coffee shake? Okay, like okay. make me oh, the, coffee the ice coffee. You call it coffee shake oh. in Vienna? We call it Vienna ice cafe, Viennese ice coffee. We have that in all the famous coffee houses in Vienna. So what's Vienna in that, Marianne? A little bit of milk, espresso powder, and then we're doing vanilla, chocolate, and coffee ice cream. And then we're gonna use the frother because it's the best drink mixer as well. Just push it down to the bottom of the ice cream and it makes it amazing. Kind of like those old fashioned um, shake makers. Yeah. yeah, sure. I oh, know, it's sure, like yeah. basically it's a Viennese milkshake. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. great. Yeah. That's awesome. Except we always use it with coffee. You know, right, coffee right, right. is so, Every bar in the outside, on the lakes, everywhere they make that. Wait, now this, Mary, and I do want to point out, that's, that ice cream's obviously super thick. Yeah. So I want you to see the power of this little handheld mixer. Yeah, now look, you can see that, look at that. Let's see it, yeah. And, and look that at immersion system's really blending that yeah. in, making it super smooth. So if you love to do protein shakes or smoothie shakes, or you do a workout and you like your shakes as yeah. well, or you just want to do a good old milkshake. Yeah, look oh. at that. So now here, I, let me finish my apple upside down cake. Apples are in season, now you can use pineapple, you can use peaches, you can use plums, whatever you have, whatever you like really. So here we go. Smooth it out. Look how nice and smooth the butter is here. Chef, what was the base? I know it was apples, but. The base is apples sauteed in a little butter with some raisin. Oh, nice. And a little sugar. So and I put brown this sugar. This is just a basic cake mix, right? A basic store bought cake mix. All right. Cake mix. And we, instead of adding water, we added apple juice and a little brandy. Oh, nice. Okay. And then in the and oven butter. it goes. And in the oven it goes. Okay, mm -hmm. Renee? You cook it, nice cooked, okay. <laughs> Don't burn it. <laughs> All right, so here's kind of the story of what's happening. You know, there's so many different things that yeah. we need, and we have at home, but wouldn't it be great to have one tool that sort of does it all? This really is that. From the toughest little jobs you have to doing um, aerating, if you want to do juices, if you love doing, like I, I love my little protein shakes in the yeah. morning, especially after I play tennis. I don't, I like to get them super mixed, and this is gonna do it for you. Remember, it is a three-in-one, and it's so convenient. And Chef, you haven't showed us this yet, yeah. but I love it that it articulates on the handle as well. Easy on off, yeah. two powers, which yeah. is great. And then you can actually twist the handle exactly. to make so the job easier. So all you have easier. to do is push it on here and then it, so now you have Look at that. a long now stick. Now the immersion, right? Yeah, it's like an immersion blender now. Right. And also, just FYI, if there's so many fancy coffee people who love coffees out there. You know, they'll go and get one of those little frothers. Uh -huh. You can spend twenty dollars just on a little frother. Yeah. Um, I saw another three-in-one from another brand, not as powerful, and it was over fifty dollars. Yeah, I know. In the big stores, the biggest market in the world, they have the most stores in the world. You could get one like that for fifty-eight bucks. Yeah. That's right, that's you right. You know, yep. and uh, ours is $29. You can get it for $10. $5 shipping for one, but if you buy two, three, or four, it's still $5 shipping. So a perfect way to give somebody a present. It's a great gift idea. And let me explain that really quickly. Here's what happens is if you ever wanted to stock up for holiday gifts, or you ever wanted to shop for anything from Wolfgang Puck, today is the day to do this, and we've never done it before. What you do is you're only gonna spend $5 total on your entire shipping bill all day today. So if you shopped earlier, Wolf Wolf, if you're doing it now, but you gotta do it before midnight, you will spend no more than five dollars total on your shipping yeah. so guess what we have coming up we got your pressure oven coming up yeah. the pressure oven is in a pretty good size box it cost a lot to ship it yeah. if you buy the ts or the today special that ships for free but basically once you pay one five dollar shipping everything else is free shipping and handling up until midnight tonight so you got to get it all in right now yeah you know chef what really impressed me and mary and i love your cookbooks um this one is specifically designed for this but there's a couple recipes that i wanted to point out out. Because, Chef, I think it's very surprising how many things you can do with this. Exactly. Well, you saw it, Marianne made the iced coffee. Look how nice and creamy it is here. Gorgeous. Look at that. It's one of my favorite things. Look at that. See that? 
Yeah. Oh, do I have to try it? Okay. Oh, yeah. you have oh, if to you try it. <laughs> if you insist, Chef. Yeah, let me get you a spoon. <laughs> An extra mm. spoon. It looks so good. And you know what's nice? Is that little This is so good. Smoke? You know what? So Just smooth. to make that so smooth and so creamy. Mm. 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 Oh, goodness. <laughs> is that in the book? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> If you get this and you just want to make this recipe alone, yeah. you need this book to be able to do that. So do not miss out because these are super limited. Don't Doug. the coffee grounds on top just make it? Oh, they're mm -hmm. lovely. And I don't yeah. like coffee. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Isn't it amazing? Mm -hmm. And you make and it so with smooth. a little uh, smoothie attachment we have. Did you right. show them the little thing? The yep. little guy? It's this guy. This guy. Look, See? so it becomes an emergent blender. Yeah, it's like a, a, a frada, you know? Yeah. But, you know, you can buy Frodo for 20 bucks or you can get it with that. So it's True. so easy. So now the holidays are coming up. What we do, we always want to have something to give to our friends or family or whatever when they come over. A dip is very popular in all the bars. You can get a crab dip or a, a vegetarian dip, whatever it is. Now, I can show you with leftovers. So here we have a little cream cheese. Then we add a little mayo. So we're making a dip? A dip, yeah, okay. a baked dip. Oh, if you nice. like onions, we're gonna add some onions, a little bit of garlic, not too much, some spinach, raw spinach, you don't have to cook it, and some parmesan, if you like to, or not parmesan, it's okay. And here I have some shrimps left over. I had six shrimps left over. I said, what am I gonna do with sh six shrimps? I have 10 people coming by their house. So I chop it up and make it dip out of it. And then I'm gonna add some sun-dried tomatoes. I had some left and I wanna change their flavor. You all know at home or here, Buffalo chicken wing. Mm -hmm. Now this is the sauce from the buffalo chicken wing. So I'm gonna add part of that to it. So it's gonna make it a little spicy, a little bit of salt, and a little pepper. Now, if you wanna touch that with the hand or with a spatula, it's gonna be very difficult to make it nice and smooth. Right. But with this machine, because of the RPIs, it's so easy. Look at that. Look, and you know cream cheese is hard to get through. I know, so this is cream cheese. Look at that, nice and creamy and fluffy. So now all you have to do is put it into your pan if you have a nice casserole, whatever it is, you know, an au gratin pan, and then put breadcrumbs on top, and that's it. That's easy. How long do we bake it? We're gonna bake it for about 25 minutes. And we could put it in our pressure oven, couldn't yeah. we? Exactly. Yay. By the way, pressure oven coming up, coming up, coming up. If you haven't seen it, a customer pick. Also, the mixing bowls, customer pick. They've been huge today, think about that. Yeah, in the pressure oven, we're down to the final 1500. That's for the whole holiday season. Yeah. And it's perfect timing because you can still get it in time to cook the perfect turkey in it, and we'll get to that in just a minute. Yeah, now look at that. I Put breadcrumbs nice. on top. And where's Rene? <laughs> Rene? You're busy tonight, Rene. Rene, you're busy tonight. You cook it because my oven is so far away. Okay, you bake it until it's brown and bubbly, all right? Brown and bubbly, we love that. Okay. Hey, by the way, a couple little notes on this. The things you can do with this awesome little handheld three in one this is cookies and milk shot glasses. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I just think that is one of oh. the most clever recipes right there. Yeah. Then there's a couple more. We do everything from cakes to desserts. Look at this, crispy banana beignets. Oh, come on, who doesn't love a great beignet? And then we switch over, that's a veggie omelet. We're talking about salted caramel party dip. Easy snickerdoodles, love that. Here's gluten-free pancakes, shredded pork cartini. What is it? Carnitas. Carnitas. What is it? Again? Carnitas. 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 Eggs. Has to be shredded. It does it well. Yeah. Oh, it, yeah. oh, it does. Yeah. It shreds for you. Yeah. Coconut coffee creamer. Easy flan. Easy sausage pasta. So I think when you think about a hand mixer, I you don't know. think about these kind and of clever And you ideas. get it for ten bucks. Ten right. bucks on, on your flex credit card. Yeah. It is crazy. On flex pay. Now you want to make cheesecake. Whatever flavor you like, you wow. can make coffee one, plain one, chocolate one whatever makes you happy so cream cheese eggs cream cheese eggs look at that look how that blows through it That's right. and you know ultimately chef this makes yeah. your prep time so much faster so much faster so much easier you don't have to get out your big mixer for that you just use this and you are done okay. now if you want to add a little chocolate add a little chocolate to it
Look at that. See that? That's oh, gorgeous. All right. All right. Look at that. How beautiful and smooth it is. Can you see that? And because it's aerating it as well, doesn't it add exactly. a lot more lightness to it, a lot so fluffier? So you're going to have the creamiest yeah. cheesecake you ever had. I love it. Because a lot of times cheesecakes it. come out so dense. Exactly. But when you get a fluffy, light one, oh, this, they are so this delicious. This is so amazing. You know what? You can do it without a crust. If you are gluten-free, for example, mm -hmm. you do it without a crust. Just bake it just like it is. Now look at that. See that? Mm. Looks gorgeous. And again, think about how much easier it's going to be to cook in the kitchen. How many recipes do you avoid do, doing? Maybe you used to love to bake, but like yeah. you said, uh, Chef, you don't want to pull out that giant mixing exactly. system. You know, you don't want to have to go. Or oh, you might not I have it. You might have right. a small apartment. You don't have the space for it. That's right. Okay, Rene. <laughs> All right, let's cook. Renee is here. He's, okay, thank Renee, you, you're Renee. you're getting more airtime yes, than ever tonight, I I'm know. telling you. I know, Renee's going to be the next I, I star here. Show, I want to do a really quick update. If you would like the orange, that is now the most limited. So it's orange, yeah. black, red. Then we have this awesome uh, green. Green's now starting to get limited. This is the turquoise, which I think is gorgeous. And, of course, we have your classic white. Think gift idea. I love what Chef said. For under $10, you can get yeah. excited about cooking in the kitchen. You can share your excitement about baking or cooking with someone. Someone else. If you're short on space, you're downsizing. This is a true three in one. You get the whipping, you get the mixing, and of course, you get the. Ba it's basically an immersion blender. Yeah. All and of it that all in comes one in unit. a beautiful yeah, box, box, ready to Here give as a gift. Look we at call that. It bow and go. Yeah. Now look at it. Here I'm making meringue. So if you don't have my bowls, you don't have a mixer. By the time you make that meringue, your arm gonna You're fall so off. Tired. You know, most of the people have dexterity problems. No. They have a little arthritis. So this will help you so much. Now let me show you how I make a little baked Alaska. And just remember, this is our last show. This is our last two hours here. Right. So if you don't get it now, you will miss out of it on that special price uh -huh. on the $5 shipping for everything. So if you buy something more, you get free shipping. So it's only $5 for today. Yeah. Look at that. So we cover the ice cream with our meringue really well, so, and then we bake it. What's the base on that? The base is we use some pound cake. We already made made it here with our mixer too. Okay. Or you can buy store board, so don't worry about anything. Then, just make sure to make a great meringue. Look at this meringue, see that? Perfect. And how long would it take normally doing it by hand? Oh, forget it. You know what, <laughs> if you don't have a good bowl and you don't have a machine, most of the people won't try it. Why? Yeah, because right. it's just too much work. Right, you're absolutely right. <laughs> yeah, you, you, get, you don't you even... Give up before it gets yeah. yeah, you're so tired. <laughs> because you can't get the volume, you can't get it. Yeah, the and then you there, get right? soupy, then it doesn't right. come up right. So put that underneath the broiler, five minutes later, it's done. Now, another great thing I'm going to show you now. You know, turkey time is coming up, but you might have leftover of any kind of meat. So I have some leftover turkey. Give me a little spatula here, okay. maybe. All right, this is What's this, barbecue That's sauce? A, just a barbecue sauce. Okay. So what I do now, I'm gonna mix that all together. See that? Now I can add some dried fruit to that, dried cherries, a few raisins if you want to, and then I'm gonna put it right in an au gratin dish. And I'm gonna make a shepherd's pie with sweet potato. So oh, nice. with leftover, you serve that for dinner, people are gonna say, oh my God, it's this so is the good. best thing I ever had. <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> Okay, now let me put that here. Okay, so now you're gonna take this and use it almost like an immersion. Like an immersion thing. So we've done the sweet potatoes, obviously in the pressure in cooker. In the pressure cooker, which is yeah. available, by the way. Now we're gonna put a little, it's the holidays, we use a little butter, okay. a little touch of cinnamon. Mm. Okay, some salt, and the big surprise, some gingerbread cookies. Some <laughs> Oh, it's so 
all the spices. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you add it. that to your puree. So even oh, if you yeah, use it okay. just as a puree served with your turkey, that will be so yeah. much that's better. That's actually a great idea if you're doing sweet potatoes. Yeah. Oh, I'm right, a little done. more, Marian. No, yeah. It's a little on the white side today. Normally, you like it nice and dark. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to put that on top here, the puree. Mm. Look at that. Or oh, you serve it just like that with your meat, with your pork roast. But this is so great for leftovers. It's smooth it out, it. and look how smooth the puree is. Oh, it looks great. And again, you know, very little effort. I think that's what yeah. we want. You know, we want to cook all these great recipes. We want to do all with our things. little machine. That's right. This little handheld so mixer. So if we want to powerhouse. put a few more of these crumbs on top or re regular breadcrumbs, a few flakes of butter on top, and then we put it in the oven and bake it. You're welcome. <laughs> Marianne is burning well, in the oven. fast. <laughs> now let me here, show here is, you Jeff. how. Here it, is. Uh -huh. here it is. I know. Look at that. Ooh, it's awesome. Now look at look at this puree here. Can you look at that? See that? Look at no it, bumps, how smooth, no how creamy, yeah? yeah? You can see my little cookies, but they dissolve after a little while too because the uh, humidity of the puree. Mm -hmm. So you make a perfect puree right yep. in here. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Actually, we're down to one, two, three, four, five, six colors left, that's it. Um, please remember, this is our one of our last looks. It's actually our last two hours of the yeah. day. Here's the book, I highly recommend okay, it. Really, nice. really extra clever recipes working back to our handheld three-in-one system. All right, 7,000 of the books have now been ordered, so we're down to the last couple hundred remaining in the book. Yeah. Really super clever recipes. You'll kind of have an aha moment when you realize what this little guy can do when you have yeah. Marion's book to go along with it. Please don't forget, as Chef mentioned, Five dollars. That's all you're paying on shipping all day long for everything in Wolfgang Puck that ends at yeah. midnight. We have three flex pays on our three-in-one hand mixer, so you can get this home and try it out for under ten dollars. So that's available, but again, only until midnight now tonight. Look at Susan. You serve Ooh. that to your friends. Oh, I you mean, you can serve that on New Year's Eve, and people are gonna say, "Oh my God, who made this delicious dessert? Look at that!" You're like, Put I it. did. Like All right, it. something else I want to give you I a see, I, as well. I yes, think chef. you can put it in your book, Marianne. Huh? It looks so nice. Look that, at that looks gorgeous. That is picture. That is Pinterest worthy right there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so still to come. Yes, I'm so excited about this, guys. The pressure oven is back. This was years and years of development by Wolfgang and his team, and it is probably one of the most brilliant items you'll ever have in your kitchen. Susan, it's, I have to give you a yes, little darling. taste of my chocolate cake. Okay, oh, okay. show them what it is. So we need whipped cream, so to decorate your cake, look at that. Oh, so you made the whipped cream with the mixer. I made the mixed cream. We made the cake We with made the, mixer. the chocolate cheesecake, yeah. and then we're going to serve it just like that. So if you go to somebody's house and you bring them a homemade chocolate cake, the, a homemade cheesecake, they're going to say, oh my God, how did you do that? And chef, you can actually cook this and bake this in the oven coming up. Yeah, exactly. Look at that. Look at All that. Right. Put a little chocolate sauce on it. Okay, chef, we're going to move on to your bowls, your famous okay. bowls. You ready to talk about this? Okay. Sure. I'm ready, but first I'm going to eat a little bit of my cheesecake well, okay. here. Give me a knife here. <laughs> how about you? You want to try a little bit? Are you kidding me? <laughs> yes. Yes, okay. <laughs> Just a little smidgen. Okay, here. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Now, look how nice and creamy and how beautiful it is. So oh. smooth and... Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Did it with the mixer. Did it with the mixer. All right, Chef, we got to go talk bowls. You ready? Okay. Let's go talk some bowls. All right, here's what we have. We have the AP stainless mixing bowl set, and these have the famous silicone bases. Just let me tell you how popular these have been. We have sold 112,000 sets here at HSN of the bowls. Okay, 112,000. Again, they're eight pieces. We have black, green, blue, red, and orange. We still have all the colors uh -huh. available. Oh, orange last call and black last call. And we're down to our final quantities on this. We have a great holiday price. But Chef, these are really the essence of having a smart kitchen, right? Totally, totally. You need that. Like, for example, if you're a barbecue chef, you like to cook outside, you're gonna marinate your chicken, your lamb, your fish, whatever you have. Now you can do it in here. Can you see that? Look at that. Some Southwestern style marinade in here. See that? Now, what is great, you can keep it in the refrigerator. Just put that really tight, close it tight, and look at that. 
This is my marinade in here. <laughs> so it is sealed hermetically. So that way, if you have whipped cream, if you have a cake, anything in your refrigerator, nothing will go on it. So that's what's the big difference. Mm -hmm. You know, now if you want to grill them, saute them. And that silicone what base is a game changer. The silicone right. base on these is exactly. just huge. Exactly, so look at that. So we saute them well. If you want to save the marinade for next time, put it in a smaller one and you're done. Okay, here's the sizes. You're getting a set of four. They have the most incredible lids. You get a seven and a quarter quart. You get a four and three quarters quart, a three quart, and a one and a half quart. That all come with measurements on the interior. They all come with the no leak lids to it. The silicone base changes everything. And you know what, totally. Chef, people don't realize how important that is until you start working with exactly. it. Exactly. And it, it just stays there. It, it doesn't wobble around exactly. on you. Exactly. So I'm going to show that in a minute. But one of the great features is they all nest together. Can you see that? Look at that. So you have the big one, the next one, the next one, and the next one. You put the covers and you save it, save it just like that in your cabinet so it doesn't take off a lot of space. That's great. And they're stainless steel. Yeah. They're never going to take color on. They're never going to exchange yeah. flavor on you. They're going to not dent on you. They're easy to take care of. It just makes a huge difference. And unfortunately, Chef, we've sold almost 10,000 today alone. Yeah. We're down to the final 1,500. This is your last Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. You know bowl. what? You saw me using it to make yep. all my patterns. You saw me using it make my whipped cream you saw me using it for everything we in our restaurants we don't use porcelain or glass why because it's dangerous and it's gonna break sure. stainless lasts forever so if you make your salads in here keep it outside maybe before the guests arrive cover it up then you open it up so you don't attract the flies inside the same you can do so many things and I know some of you have containers like that and no top fits it anymore so you put aluminium foil on it so which is never gonna cover it hundred percent so get rid of that now look at that this is a bowl where we had our um, our bolognese sauce in here our tomato sauce with meat in here for four days it attacked the bowl now, I know there is stainless steel and stainless steel. This is not what ours is all at. And this one has a round bottom, so it's really not a good thing. So, use, don't use things like that. Give them to somebody and throw them away. You won't be happy in the kitchen if you don't have the right thing. Mine are totally different. Absolutely. Now, look at that. You want to make a salad dressing, vinegar attacks the plastic, so you don't want it. So, what you do is we have balsamic vinegar here. All right, and I make vinaigrette once a week, maybe, and then... Oh, Chef, I gotta give an update. The orange is sold out. Yeah. So we have black will be next, and then we have the green, and we have the red. So we're down to only three colors now remaining in this. There are 1,300 left, totally on its way to selling out. Yeah. And it, it really is. It's just like great knives, Chef. You've just gotta have great bowls. Exactly. Everybody so, needs them, you know? So it's now, not like something you don't use. Look at that. So you wanna make a dressing. Obviously, you need a stainless steel so vinegar, bowl. Honey. I make vinegar, put a little mustard in here with our little mixer, and look how, how well it stays here. Wait, notice, he's not using his other hand. I don't use another hand, so okay. now I'm just gonna put the oil in here. Now you can see the dark color comes from the balsamic vinegar. Mm -hmm. See, and with the mixer, you can emulsify it beautifully. So, how easy is that to have? something special so now yes, I've seen you do that by the way green and red only I've seen you do this recipe before and but you mixed it by hand by hand Even yeah the consistency it's the consistency this recipe is different because yeah. of the today's special exactly so now if you don't use it right away you keep it like that in a refrigerator right so if you want to make a salad let's remove that here Okay, you know, salad is good for you. I know we in my family, my, my wife Galila and my boys, we eat at home. Almost every night we have salad, Caesar salad, romaine salad, whatever it is. And then we add all kinds of vegetables to it, like tomatoes in the summertime or cucumbers, or sometimes we add some chicken or some meat, some cheese, maybe a little onion. And if now, if you don't have a big bowl... Well, you know what my favorite thing to do is? 
put the lid on it. You can put the lid oh, on it. Oh my and, God, look and at me. I'm like getting in the way of Chef. He's like, really? Right, this is okay. my favorite feature. This is how you really mix dressing. Okay, right, no, no, this is the perfect way to mix okay, a dressing. It, then bake According it. to a non-chef like me. <laughs> he's, yeah. like, he's like, excuse me, I'm the pro here. Okay, okay. No, 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 <laughs> but look, you know look what? at that. Nothing yeah. spilled out. I know, nothing it's completely but... evenly mixed. All right, all right. You're right, you're right. <laughs> I'll let you do it. I love I go home feature. early tonight. Susan is taking over. I'm taking over completely. But I think it's one of the most convenient features. Because I know. you don't like to use less dressing because it mixes mm -hmm. much more it, You thoroughly. can mix it perfectly. Right. So look at that. You have a beautiful salad. If you want to take it with you, you cover it just like that. That's and it. you can take your coleslaw, your tomato salad, your potato salad, anything okay. just like that. And I that. know you love using the biggest bowl. He'll use it if yeah. he's having people over to put wine bottles, uh, white wine exactly. to chill it with to ice chill on the it. wine, yeah. to chill your beer yeah. in here. Yeah. But you also can bake in it. That's the most amazing thing. Wait, you can really bake quick, your can you bread in here. Here, real quick, I just want to show you. For those of you who love making the holiday candies, you like making all the holiday goodies. Yeah. I love it as a Look at that, the strawberries exactly. here, can you see? You dip them in chocolate, just it's like, like a fondue that. fondue pot, right? Yeah. Just, all right, like there you go, we're gonna wrap fondue. up on this, Chef. All this with is... cakes, look at it. Oh, is that a little pound cake action? A little pound cake, so oh, all of the ice cream pops. Oh, the little oh. ice cream pops. Oh, well. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Now that's a dessert right there. Okay, we're gonna wrap up, Chef. Um, yeah. Don't forget on this, we have a flex pay, which all is right, customer only pick. less than a thousand left. Yeah, so this if is you it. want yeah. it, yeah, it's almost I gone. urge you to call tonight. Remember, if you ordered already the little mixer, then you get that free shipment. Free shipment. You can also get it on flex pay. So yeah, flex this pay is great. Got two flex right now, but it's gonna sell out. So we're gonna yeah. wrap up, buddy. All okay. right, so here we go. We got an, coming up, you ready? Oh my goodness, here we go. I'm so excited about this too. We have some real heavy hitters in the show tonight. You're gonna see a prep pressure oven that if you've never seen it before, I promise it will blow you away. And later on, we're gonna pit Wolfgang Puck's commercial blender against the most famous blender out there that cost hundreds of dollars more. It starts with a V, you're very familiar with it. If you want more power, more qu uh, quality, and a much uh, less price, then this is the blender for you. It's everything from piping hot soups to even making ice cream make your own peanut butter. Yeah. It's incredible what this can do. We're going to grind meat with this. You actually can do, grind your coffee with it. You the, can make your crème brûlée. Your crème brûlée. Yeah, your chocolate crème brûlée. I mean, people love it. I use it at the restaurant because this is commercially so rated and, and the best price ever. ever it used, ever, to, be, ever. used to be 149 You're right. Now it's 129 And that's tonight still. So stay with us. First time you're going to look at it, it's coming up just around the corner. out there. Let HSN keep you warm and cozy and looking great this winter season with new cold weather fashions. We've everything you need from sweaters to jackets to dusters to faux fur and more. Plus, we've got your favorite boot brands that are functional and stylish, including boots from Sporto and Bearpaw. Stay cozy and look chic this season. Visit hsn.com and search cold weather fashion. I'm Joy. I'm a mother. That's first and foremost. I'm curious, always curious. I'm a bit of a perfectionist and I'm an inventor. So when I'm designing product, it's all about making everyday life simpler. I guess that's just how I look at things. I find a lot of inspiration from just living my everyday life. And I think, boy, every day's a gift. Make joyful discoveries every day. I think women dress differently every day. I think you should be able to dress for your mood. Melissa, look over here. <laughs> I am incredibly involved in every single piece of clothing. I probably drive everybody crazy. And I wear every single piece. And at the end of the day, I think, that's really great and comfy. Then it moves on. because of course the amazing Chef Wolfgang Buck is here. Yep. We have a huge, huge ending to a great visit. I and know. now we're gonna talk about an amazing and very unusual 
pressure oven. Yep. How long did it take for you to develop this? You know, it took me two and a half years to develop the pressure oven. Not just me alone, but with all my chefs together, all the catering chefs and uh, Matt when he was there and everybody helped. How can we make an oven which cooks faster, but faster is not good enough. Who does a better job? So now we develop this low pressure oven. What is a low pressure oven? Basically there is no heat and no moisture escaping. Hermetically sealed uh, oven chamber. So that way when you roast something, it stays moist because no moisture escapes. Once the air is full of moisture, it won't go anywhere. So it doesn't suck out the moisture. Normally, you know, just like the sun with dry air, it sucks out all the moisture and gets dry so this is it but also because it's closed so if you put thyme rosemary garlic to your meal to your roast it infuses everything with the flavor so you have all this but mainly who wants to cook a turkey for three hours and that's what and it, it is. And it turns out really dry. Or for, for even more so, because they say it's 20 minutes per pound. It says on the package like that. It doesn't come from me. So if you have a 15 pound turkey, how many minutes is that? By 20? I don't, it's 55 minutes. I know. It's 50 for it's, what you mean. But a regular is 300 yeah. minutes. 300 minutes. So it's six times faster in your okay. oven. But that wouldn't be enough. It's 10 times better. That's what I like about it. Yeah, it doesn't turn out dry. It, you don't have to base it. Can you yeah. imagine not basting a turkey this year? Here's the thing. We have this available right now, and it's available, and we'll make it at home in time for Thanksgiving. If you want to make the best turkey you've ever tasted in your life, you want to try it inside here. There are 795 reviews. Almost 500 are perfect five stars. And the reviews are great. I read a bunch of them earlier. Here's what you're getting to. We have a special yeah. configuration. This is the perfect counter size, which is great. Um, you're going to get the regular pan. Uh -huh. It's a complete rotisserie system, You know, which is this amazing. is a rotisserie system. You're going to say, what the heck is that? I never saw anything like that. Yeah. This are skewers on here. So and you get eight of those. You get as a eight bonus. of them. Now, Marianne, bring over the, the skewer model. Look, Look at, at that. This. See? <laughs> so cool? you can, now, yeah. it starts to get cold outside. You cannot put your barbecue in anymore, but you can barbecue in your oven you here. Your traditional rotisserie, so you can do your and chickens, your hands, your chicken. Your duck. I that use that all the time for my roast, for yep. my pork roast, also for my beef, for my prime rib. Sure. Put it on here, so and that then way. And I love this. You get a bonus rectangular basket, chef. This basket's yeah. brilliant as well. I know it's and amazing. And that's included with this. And here's your entire configuration. So, chef, let's show them how it works because it's very simple. All right, simple. so it is so simple. I'm gonna take something out first before we go to the big thing. Sure. We cook the bacon wrapped turkey breast in here. So it takes how many minutes? 20? 20 to 30? About, About 30, 30 minutes. minutes okay. Yeah. And it's big. It depends big, the size, right? obviously. Yeah. 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 So it has a valve in here, like just like the pressure cooker. You relieve the steam. See that here? And then here you have the lever. You open the lever and then you open it up. Look and see all the steam <laughs> coming out. Look at this. And look oh. how glistening, oh. how beautiful the roast yeah, is. That's a, a turkey thing. breast in here. And wrapped in bacon. You wrapped in bacon, so you get a little smoky flavor. So then you get the handle here also to take it out easy. Now, if you are at home, what you do, you let it rest. But we don't have a lot of time here, so we don't rest. We just keep on moving. So this is, as you can see, on the rotisserie. But it's great. You put it on, you put the timer on, and you are done. That's great. So, and I also understand, too, just like a pressure cooker, you're cooking approximately 70% faster. So you're going to get slow-cooked, home-cooked taste, but you're going to get it rapidly. Yeah. It's just like a pressure cooker, but it browns, which exactly. is really the now makes Exactly. Now, look how beautiful and brown this got here. Oh, my gosh. That looks great. Look at that. So now, I made the salad before in the big salad bowl. Mm. We have your roasted turkey breast. So now you have a lunch or a dinner, high-protein, almost no fat. You don't have to put bacon around if you don't want to. Just roast it just the way it is and maybe brush it with olive oil. So now all of a sudden for no money at all you're gonna have a delicious main course. A salad 
Oh. Mary, Marion slides these forks <laughs> under for me. She's like, I know you want to try that. But notice how moist it is. Yeah. Look at the steam. This isn't dried out. You don't need gravy to make it moist. All you need is the pressure oven. Yeah. It's revolutionary what Chef has done. This is totally patented. You cannot buy it anywhere uh -huh. else. It's exclusive here at HSN. Also, I think this is important. $100 off tonight. Uh, free shipping. This is great because it's free. And of yeah. course, we have five flex pays for tonight as well so it's a really nice saving now look at that so you make a salad add a few pomegranate seed here it's beautiful. and you have a salad ready for the holiday look at that instead of having your whole turkey i know a lot of you out there want to eat healthy so this is the way to go that's right, that's right. All right, if you want to do a turkey, you can do it in less than an hour. Yeah. A big turkey. 14-pound turkey is okay, going to come out of here. Okay, should we take out the turkey? Less less an do you want to do a turkey? Can we do turkey? Yay! Okay, let's get out the big baby turkey here. <laughs> now, again, we release the steam. Then we open up the lever here. Oh, <laughs> I jumped it a little bit. All right, now look at that. Oh, my goodness, look at that. Now this is 14 pounds, right? A 14, 15 pound actually, this one. Wow. I open it a little fast because I always want to go fast. So normal, <laughs> normally let the steam escape, just like in a pressure oven. And oh, look, at, look at the color of our turkey. Now, Chef, part of the challenge was to make sure you could make it brown. <laughs> exactly. That was a big deal. You know, if not, it would be a pressure oven. But right. you want to get this beautiful color. Right. And that's what this allows you to do as well. So if you're thinking, oh, stuff cooks under pressure, it's never brown, it yeah. doesn't have that crispness, this is what makes this truly an extraordinary system. This is the last time before Thanksgiving we're going to be now airing this. Now, look at this. all the juices oh, right in there. We should get our mixer. Then yeah, Marianne, yeah, bring the mixer potatoes, over right? and we're going to make it save me a little bit of the juice I here promise, so that's gonna make a delicious sauce gravy do a little gravy Hello. okay and then the rest we put it in one of our mixing bowl mm -hmm. and make a puree while i am cutting the turkey this is gorgeous all right now look at that you can make that and let me tell you two years ago i think i told the story already when my brother with his wife and daughter came over for dinner at thanksgiving at five o'clock, the two turkeys were sitting outside, and I remember Casey was looking at my mom said, oh my God, what time are we gonna eat at nine o'clock? Because she hadn't started cooking them yet. Because she said it takes 20 minutes per pound, and this 15 pounds, 300 minutes is like five hours. <laughs> right. And I said, no, we are eating at six o'clock. She said, oh, you're crazy. Will you have some other ones somewhere in the oven? I said, no. So I put them in the oven at five o'clock. At 5.30 or 5.40, we sat down, we had the little pumpkin soup, and then, it shut off the oven automatically in 55 minutes. I let the turkey rest for 10 minutes in there, cut it, and everybody said this was the best turkey. So while, that, <laughs> while we were eating the turkey, I put the other one in, and everybody wanted to take it home. Oh, that's I said, awesome. oh my God, this is the best thing we so ever two had. Two turkeys in two hours. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's really remarkable. And if you read the reviews, you'll see exactly what people are talking about. You know, Chef, they rave about the results out of this, yeah. too. Uh, um, no, it is really the best thing you ever bought for yourself. Now, look at that. Mm. By the way, you guys, now, your mouth look, will water Should I have this, this thing here? Look, look at all the juice coming down. See that? Isn't that crazy? Perfectly cooked, Chef. Perfectly yeah. cooked. Wow. Look at that. Yeah, it's gorgeous. All right, we're going to say hi to Debbie in Missouri. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Debbie in Missouri. Okay. How are you? Hi, good evening. Well, Good evening. How are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. And yourself? I'm excellent because we have, like, the best turkey here, and I'm a little hungry. <laughs> you know it looks very tasty. Debbie, what did you find specifically tonight that you thought, I think I need that? I bought the mixing bowl set. Uh huh. Why'd you pick those I up? I bought five of them. Wow. I bought them uh, for my grandchildren and my son and daughter. Yeah. Oh, lovely. So you're going to give them to them as gifts? I am. I'm going to save them for Christmas. And you just saved a ton of money on shipping since yeah. uh, they all basically ship for free. Yep. Yes, and they were very affordable, especially for uh, buying five. Yeah. yeah, that's very true. Well, good. Well, we hope Couldn't they all enjoy it. it. Yeah, have you ever shopped with Wolfgang Puck before? I have. I bought um, 
a set of carving knives. I don't know what they're called, but they're the different color ones. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Well, good. Well, enjoy, and thank you for spending some time thank with us today. Thank you, Debbie. Enjoy the mixing bowls. Sorry, my mouth is full. <laughs> he is hungry. <laughs> but, We'd love to hear from you. This is a rare opportunity yeah. to be able to talk to one of the world's renowned chefs. Oh, good. We got the mix the mixer out. The today's special. Yeah. There's the mixing bowls, Debbie. There's the just mixing got. bowls. You're gonna need them. Mary Ann made this beautiful sweet potato like. puree. Marianne, this was just the sweet potatoes underneath the turkey. Underneath yes, the turkey, that's it. so that's it. what is amazing, all in one pot. Oh, so. oh my gosh. You can taste the turkey drippings yeah. in the sweet potato. That is so yummy. Oh my goodness. Well, here's the thing too. Understand, this is on its way to selling out. We will not have it on again before Thanksgiving. It'll arrive in time for Thanksgiving. And you too, instead of having to baste a turkey ever again, yeah. or it's all dried out because it's been sticking in, stuck in the oven for hours, you can get a 14 pound, 15 pound turkey done in 50 minutes, start to finish, and it literally will be some of the best turkey you've ever eaten in the your life. The best turkey, oh, there's absolutely so no comparison. Yeah. You know, we tried it out in our restaurant with chicken, with turkey, with anything you could roast. This one came out better than with any ten, fifteen thousand dollar oven I have in a restaurant. Did no? that surprise some of your other chefs? Oh, they all looked. You know what they say? I want one. That was their <laughs> answer. And yeah. you know, when they said I want one, I remember one lady who had kids at home, and she said, "You know, this is so perfect for me because I go to work at four in the afternoon, and then I can put a chicken in there, I can put a turkey in there, whatever." And then when my kids come home, they have a hot dinner. So the babysitter doesn't have to cook because they were complaining always. She didn't have to worry that they get a hot meal because she put it on the timer and the kids had the perfect meal. When it was ready to go. And by yeah. the way, you have to understand this is totally multi-purpose. It does everything from toasting, you can toast if you just want to do basic yeah. toast, to baking, we actually can do desserts in here, to full on cooking and it's a rotisserie. So imagine being able to do all those different different ways of cooking, the types of cookings. You can bake bread if you want to. You can do a casserole in here. Think of it as the most advanced, clever un uh, oven you've ever used. You're cooking faster and better. It's slow cook taste really fast. That truly is the brilliance. And yes, there's the toasting. It browns. We've got gyro meat in there. I know we're doing baked yeah. potatoes. You're gonna see a beautiful roast come out in just a couple of minutes as well. And you can do your desserts. We've got cupcakes we did up there. It looks like we did um, some breakfast in here as well. And muffins it's it's absolutely a phenomenal unit and yeah. I love the reviews chef I love this one she said my large oven is now a storage area she doesn't even yeah. use her you refrigerator know what oven it was anymore. so funny because my son Oliver said you know what we never use our oven and you know <laughs> kids don't lie he said I could use it to play hide and seek I said don't do that but he was so cute he said you know we actually don't light never up the, the oven, oven. Right. exactly and I bought an oven which is probably the Rolls Rolls of stock in the world, right. but I don't turn it on. Isn't that Not funny? the oven, just the top. Because you don't need to. I mean, all you need is this. And who wouldn't want to cook better, faster, and have better taste than ever before? By the way, Marion was at it again. Just want to point out the pressure oven cookbook is available. This is also super limited. This will be crazy what you can do. Here's spatchcock chicken inside here. The recipes and the ideas, again, hash brown casserole, holiday baked brie. This is an oven beef stew, one bowl cupcakes, baked a thousand island pork chops, baked brown rice inside here, centerpiece stuffed squash, braised oh, lamb shanks, make the rice dish, huh? cheesy goodness popovers, hello, bacon wrapped meatloaf you can do inside here, bacon egg and bagel uh, bake, uh, mom's turkey meatloaf, key lime pie, uh, blueberry cobbler, I mean barbecue chicken pizza, look at that, uh, think of all the different stuff you can do inside here, it will blow away your traditional oven by 300%, I mean yeah, just, just you won't use your traditional oven anymore you use that now look at that you don't have to make the same old turkey gravy all the time I made one here with a little pesto oh, nice. so, so you if took you the want gravy yeah drippings. I took the gravy and put a little pesto on it oh nice oh gosh that's gorgeous, gorgeous. look at that yeah. so now if you want you have a turkey here this is a 15 pound turkey and that will feed quite a few people so for the traditionalist make it with the cranberries. For the people who want something different once in a while, you make it like this. So you have both ways, so look at that. That looks awesome.
My mouth's watering. Is that, is that, is, you're, you're putting that to the table for Thanksgiving mm -hmm. or any other holidays and people are gonna say, oh my God, where did you learn how to cook? And think about it too, we did the potatoes at the same time as doing the turkey or the vegetables at the exact same time. So it's not like you're saying, oh, I gotta do this in the oven and then an hour later I'm gonna put something else in. Really let it be the ultimate multitasker for you. The only challenge tonight is will you get it before it's sold out? Yeah. We have a great holiday price. It's actually $100 off. We have free shipping on this, five flex pays, right? We have five, yep. So get this home and actually try it out for yourself and find out why there are so many five-star customer reviews yeah. on this. Quite frankly, Chef, it just works brilliantly. Yeah, now here I'm going to make you like a paella style thing. Do we have some shrimps? I saw some Ooh, shrimps paella, there. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Okay. So we have all vegetables, peas. It's a fancy paella. My friend Jose Ooh. would say, ah, a paella is simple, just chicken and rabbit, but we add shrimps, beef, whatever we have. Mm -hmm. That turkey is amazing. Or you can add a little tomato sauce or whatever. Do we have the rest of the stuff? No, no uh, rice or on, something? On. Do you have any shrimp? Is there anything in there? Shrimp, rice, something. Get me something. Don't if mind not... me, I'm just eating the turkey. <laughs> All right, okay, you eat the turkey while they bring me some stuff. Oh my goodness, chef, this is so moist. Oh, and pasta, you have pasta based change. I changed my mind to Italian, just give me something. So, okay, well, what is so difficult? Okay, give it to me, come here. Rice or pasta? Okay, pasta is fine now. I changed my mind. Okay, okay good. So p pasta primavera almost. Look at that. It's no cream primavera. So raw. put the pasta in here, and then we have the veggies in here, and then here we have the tomato sauce. So same amount of liquid than you use for dried pasta. Okay. okay. A little chicken broth. A little, a little chicken, chicken broth. broth. It okay. always has more flavor. Put okay. that over. Okay, a little branch of rosemary, salt and pepper, chili if you want to, if you have kids, no chili. So stir it well together so that way it cooks evenly. Now you can add meat to it, whatever you want, but I'm just gonna make it just like a good vegetarian dish in here. So you can make a vegetarian rice in here, whatever you think. Sure. We cover it really well see with that aluminum foil. And then, with the knife, I'm gonna make some holes in here. All right, and now we put it in the oven, and if we have one empty one. Do you wanna do this one here, or that, this one? Not yet, okay, yeah, this one, okay. This one. And Chef, can you show them the controls and exactly okay, how good. it works? Okay, good, okay, so now we put that in the oven. We well, that's put a regular it, size okay, pan. Okay, yeah, the pan, pan comes with it. Yeah. You put it on seal here. You see that seal? So we're sealing on top. Okay. Chef, sorry, you're, there's right there. There's the, the seal. The valve is right on top. It says seal on it. Then you close the door. You put the lever down. Now this is really sealing it okay. up. Okay. You put it on 25 minutes. Okay. And then I put it on bake and 450. No, wait, I want to show you guys this too because it has all the instructions here. Yeah. It's toast, bake, roast, rotisserie. Well, it's glasses. all on the dial. And then here's your temperature Better control on glasses. top. So temperature oh, yeah. control, there's your function control. It's really yeah. easy. And then there so is your time. So rotisserie, whatever it is. Right, whatever it is. And obviously when you have the rotisserie going, you're going to see it turn. You know what? Everybody yeah. goes to the grocery store and buys the rotisserie chicken. I know. Not with us. You don't have no. to do that. And yep. how long has that darn rotisserie chicken been on that rotisserie? All I know, and, and it is full, full of all these nitrates, full of water, so yeah. it's not what you will make at home. All right, Chef, you want to pull out some more goodies? Let's yeah, see yeah, for sure. We're we gonna cooking back here. Okay, all right. What do we have next here? Let's see in the rotisserie something. The all hero. right, the, the hero. hero. Okay, good. Right here. All right. So. Release the steam first. Release the steam first. Yeah, I sometimes go a little too fast. So you <laughs> wait until the steam starts, just like a pressure oven. So it's simple. Then you open it here and look at all the steam in here. See that? Yes. Uh -huh. That's what keeps it really moist. Wow, this looks great. Now, in this way, <laughs> yeah, I don't have my glasses. <laughs> So I don't see as well. Now look how beautiful brown that is. Mm. These are chicken breasts, which we marinated with garlic, oregano, and everything. So now we don't have to do anything. We slide it off. Look at that. Oh my goodness, Chef, that looks so good. And look at how moist and yeah. delicious it is. Oh, 
goodness gracious. Uh, think about this though, pressure oven is uh, a must have. I love that's what one of the customers had to say about this. They just said it's a must have. And yeah. you know, you don't say that about your regular, I mean, you gotta have an oven, and, but you really don't anymore. But a pressure oven, she said it's a must have. The other reviews I thought were great was less heat in the house. They love exactly. that. Because you're not heating up your entire oven just to make something and it's not staying on as long. And look how beautiful the chicken is. Can yeah, you, can see, you that? see this? Check that out. Oh, yeah. geez. That looks awesome. All right, now let me put this over here. And you have a lot on there, by the way. Yeah. You just cut a teeny little bit off there. Oh, here we have that. Okay, good. So here we make some pita bread, cut that in pieces. Thank you for my glasses. Yeah, I could not see the numbers when you get my age. The eyesight goes first, they say, thank God, not the rest, because we will be in deep trouble. Mine already went, I just don't want to admit it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, if you want, use a little, do we have a tongue? Tongue, uh-huh. Because this is very hot. All right, so you have the salad in the center, some tomatoes for color. Put a little meat on here. All right, see how easy that is. Now you can make a whole gyro party like that. It could be lamb, it could be chicken, it could be beef, whatever you like, you just put them on here. And then put a few cucumbers. So simple, so easy. Some tomatoes. Okay, a few in the middle too. Some olives. Look at that. Now you're in the Mediterranean in Greece. Some that over. Naturally, if it's Greek, feta cheese is totally, totally Greek. They use it on everything. And here we have a little yogurt with some mint and some other things in here. Best huh? sauce ever. Mm -hmm. Oh, take a look. All right, yeah. Chef, I'm gonna have a four minute challenge for you. Are okay, you ready? Good. Oh my God, okay, now I'm gonna go fast. You have four minutes, you gotta unload all the rest of these. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go fast now, believe me. This is it. Also, he's like, whoops, okay. All right, let's clean here. up here, place a little olive right, oil here on go. top. Okay, now I was sleeping a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. You just have a lot to show off. Okay, where is the? Oh, you have to do help you me do now. The big, you want to do the prime rib? Prime, prime rib. All right. Do the rib first. Just, you know what, Greg, we're going to go right now. Baked the potatoes. Line. Yeah. Okay, I do the baked potato. We have to speed up. <laughs> we can do it. All right. Hot. Oops, don't burn yourself, <laughs> Chef. I know. Okay. Fast but safe. Okay, here are the baked potatoes. Put a prime rib here for a second. Okay, I'm gonna start with the baked potatoes now. Look Can at it. Take the skewer off for you. Huh? Take the yeah, skewer. take yeah. the skewer yeah. off, please. Okay. Piping hot potatoes. Be careful, don't touch anything. It is hot there. Now let me show you how we do these potatoes. You cut once through the length and once across. See that? Yep. And then. We push them together. Don't use your finger because the metal is very hot, the foil is very hot. Look at that. Oh, well. See that? And it's like a delicious, satisfying baked potato. It's, a, it's you not can, overcooked, you know what? it's not dried we out. We have people who just eat that. When I have people coming over, some people said, oh, I'm a vegetarian. They eat the potato and they eat two potatoes <laughs> to say it's so good. Hey, right, Greg, what are you pulling out next? Pot roast. Pot roast is coming out. Stay tuned, we're gonna okay. do the pot roast. I love the pot roast. Oh, I'm gonna please. do one more potato here and then I'm gonna continue. Marianne. I'll take them. You finish. Okay. The potatoes with sour cream take butter. Them away. 90 seconds. <laughs> Look at it. Okay, little chives. Okay. Chive. And a little bacon. That looks great. Jade. All right, now comes the pièce de résistance, our beautiful pot roast. And our beautiful pot roast mm. is right here. Take it out. I have the prime rib. Look at this prime rib, too. Oh, my goodness. If this doesn't make your mouth it's yeah. just water, it is so moist. It's so juicy, Chef. Yeah, now look in there. See that? Gorgeous. 
Absolutely. And it's medium, so you cook it the way you like it, you know, until the desired temperature. Now look, the inside out. Now look at the juice. Mm. And how long does this take compared to the traditional pot roast? Or, I mean, traditional prime rib? About half, a half, say half, so half the time. The time. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. So you get the whole tablet with that. Now look <laughs> at that. Watch out, Marion. Greg's Fine. behind you. <laughs> Yum! <laughs> Look at that. Now, what's that, Greg? Rack of pork. Oh, my goodness. I'm telling oh. you, we're getting this all out here. You're going to okay, see it. Okay, now look here at Here we go. Five flex space. Free shipping. Customer pick with 790 reviews. A $100 off tonight. Just read the reviews themselves. You will see five star after five star after five star. We have another platter. platter. Yep. Yep. Wait here. I'll slide this one on down. Here, chef. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, look at here. Here we have our beef. Look at that. Oh. This is pot roast. Why we don't make pot roast more often? Because it takes forever. Now you can cut it with this spoon. Oh See right. that? Gosh, well, look at that. Greg, what did you just put in front of me? Ham. Ham. Oh, yeah, we got the ham. ham. <laughs> he's determined. That is a man with oh, a mission he's behind the, to, yeah, I know. A man on a mission. Look at that. Yeah. Yes, he's gonna, pot that roast, roast looks is insane. Sunday night in California. In LA, it's already, what is it now? What time is it here? 11? Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. All right, so it's 8 o'clock, perfect timing for us in California. Roast. Yeah. so good. Oh, please. This is, this is melt in your mouth pot roast. And you, you can make it the way you like it, really. Oh, so my if, gosh, if yeah. you want to add rosemary, tomato sauce.